Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And today's episode, we are going to look at a drop shadow. Yes, quick one. As part of the Photoshop quick tips and tricks we embarked on for some time ago. And um, it's very necessary we look at drop shadow. Drop shadow as very very important and if someone may ask what is a drop shadow drop shadow is maybe it's a layer or so i quickly ask um, google to um, help me to find the meaning of a drop shadow and this is what he's saying drop shadow gives the impression that a layer in your photoshop project is covering and casting a shadow into the background layer beneath it yes uh, let's repeat again i'll say Sorry, um, drop shadow gives the impression that a layer in your Photoshop project is covering and casting a shadow into the background layer beneath it. Yes, and we can explain this further using this few one and realize that this is what is called a drop shadow, some light or maybe a light ray in which maybe it has hit an opaque object and therefore it reflects to other angle or it reflects to a different position in a different angle or in a different way so quickly that is what is called a drop shadow and let me guide you or let me guide you on how we are able to achieve something like this using maybe any text or any flyer maybe you want to design an interface and um, you really want to change certain things so or you want to add drop shadow to your project so quickly let me hide this one and then you set up the background remember you can set up um, uh, um, uh, the background or the this interface as 1920 by 1080 so let me quickly ctrl n to open a new document or oh, yes then choose 1920 by 1080 since i've created it already i'll just put this and then i'll type my test any test at all let's type welcome and then i'll enter it, it because it's a test is white and it's appearing it's falling on a white background so definitely we can't see and then i'll change the font to something Okay, let me go to this coral color and let me close here to zero. Good. And then control T and then scale it up. Yes, I'll scale it up nicely like this and position it at the center. Control A and then position it at the center. Control D to be selected and then pick my rectangle to and draw a rectangle beneath it like this and change that color to maybe white. Yes, change that color to white. And then it, because of this white, that's where we are not seeing. So let me change the background color. Go to paint bucket to yes, let me go to paint bucket to, to sorry, and then pick this color. Maybe pick this color, or maybe I can come and pick a color from here like this, or something a color like this, and then hit at the background, yes, to change the color entirely. Then I'll move to this and this and click here and then center and align it. Good. Control D to deselect it, and then good, 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 good. So this rectangle is selected, and then I'll go to my drop shadow. Sorry, I'll go to this FX layer, and then go to drop shadow. Or you can just right click it this way. Sorry, right click it this way, and then go to blending option, and you see drop shadow over there. And then with the drop shadow, let's use the opacity as 59. Remember, blending mode set it to multiply. It's very very important opacity set it to 59 59 and angle set it to 127 127 degrees and then distance set it to 16 and then a spread set it to i'm sure okay you can set the spread to zero and then set the size to 27 good 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 so you see how it's reflecting over here nicely like this that is exactly what we want so if that is okay then you click on okay like this and then you realize that the drop shadow is is, is, is showing it's showing it's really showing so quickly come back to the drop shadow option like this right click it and then create layer in so doing you create a different layer of the drop shadow you see if you hide it you realize that the drop shadow has been created in a different layer so right that is exactly what we want and then just go here control T to select, uh, select it right click it and then go to warp good in warp then you push this side to here then you push this side to here just do it carefully and then 
you realize that you have pushed the middle inside and then the edges is showing the drop shadow is showing at the edges yes that is exactly what you want so if you push it exactly or you adjust it to the size you want then click on ok like this and then you realize how the drop shadow is blending you realize let me change the background to black so that you can see it clearly so i'll go to my paint packet to again and then go to color um, um sorry 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 let me cancel here and then go to x and change here to color black and then you push here like this oh no 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 that will not even help at all but i think if we choose color white i'm sure it will be awesome 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 so go here and choose color white and hit here and you see yes exactly you see this is exactly what you want you see the drop shadow is showing here it's showing here and it's showing at this side that is exactly what you want to do so if in case you want you can just group them control g and then control t to select it and then scale it all up like this and guys this is how to create a drop shadow effect in photoshop this is part of the photoshop quick tips and tricks we embark on and start using drop shadow in your project and you get an awesome design i love you and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye for now